called the dog days of summer. Have you ever heard of that before? I know. Did you ever hear somebody call it the dog days? And that means the hottest, most miserable, most uncomfortable time of the whole summer. So I thought this might be a good time to think about ways to keep cool, things to do on a hot day to keep cool. And um, I thought we'd start out today with something that I brought with me. You know what this is. So what does this have to do with keeping cool? Does this mean anything to anybody when you stop to think about being cool? You can eat it. Oh, it's a good thing to eat in the summertime. It's a cucumber. What'd you say, Gerard? It's a cucumber. Right. You can have it for a picnic. Because of the saying, as cool as a cucumber. Now, if you pass this around right now, you feel that it really is real cool. And um, another thing that you can do with a cucumber is um, this is something to do if you're really, really hot. And you're so hot, you don't want to do anything. You don't want to go out and play. You don't want to watch TV. You don't even want to move. Okay? How many of you have air conditioning, by the way? If you have air conditioning, <laughs> you don't have to worry about this. What are you doing here? <laughs> but on the day your air conditioning breaks on the hottest day of the year, you'll know what to do. And one of the things that you might want to do, and moms and dads like to do this sometimes especially, is cut a slice of cucumber like this, and later on it goes to a boy. Put a sharp in here. A nice thin slice would be nicer, but this knife isn't very sharp. And take two of them, stretch out on the couch or the floor or your bed or wherever you want to, and put one on each eye like this and just lie there. You can feel the cucumber in your eye. Now, some grown-up ladies think this is kind of a beauty secret too because it makes your eyes um, not be puffy and look young and pretty and everything. But it also makes you feel really good. And I'll just pass this around while I'm talking. And just pass it. Don't scrunch it up or anything because you don't want to get it too dirty, but just pass it around and feel how cool it is and we'll see if it gets all the way around to everybody if it's still cool. I don't know if it'll be cool after you've all handled it or not, but um, that's something to remember on a really hot day is to just uh, go get yourself a slice of cucumber and stick it on your eyes and take a little break. Now I'm going to move this knife up here so it's just out of the way to get into anybody's hands. What we're going to do today, um, as it said on the flyer, and as somebody here said, is some tricks and some treats for keeping cool. And we have a few games and crafts and activities that we're going to do in teams. And so I want to divide you up into teams right now. And has everybody had it? Is it still cool? No. <laughs> is it getting warm? Yeah. Has everybody had it? That's why I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it doesn't stay cool forever. Huh? Uh, we need to count off. So let me see how many people we have today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need to count off by what? You didn't get it? Let me give you the half of the cool. It's still a little bit cool. Yeah, this is a little. This one is not. It's moist though, but it's not cool. It's getting to be that body. What? Hmm? It wasn't really cold ever. It wasn't really cold ever, she said. It's not cool. Cold. It's not cold, it's cool. Cool. It's nicey old, not not icy cold. Although it would be a lot cooler to put it in the refrigerator, but now it's soaking up your heat. Okay? Okay. When it soaks up your heat, that means it's making you a little bit cooler at the same time. Um, we're going to start off, I think, with two teams, and um, we're going to make it um, a red and a blue team, okay? So I want you to count off by twos, and Jesse and Gerard, you'll be one team member, and that'll even things up a little bit. Oops. Come on in. This is... Okay, Elizabeth. Right? No, what's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, right. Stephanie, nice to meet you. Okay, well in that case, Gerard can be a 
person of his own. He can be a rep person now. We'll have an even number. Um, okay, that gives us 16. So maybe we'll divide into four teams. Let's count off by fours, but I need Jesse to be on the team with um, Gerard. Okay. All right. So count off by fours. We'll start over right here. Over the left. One. Count loud. One, two, three. Remember your numbers. Okay, you know your numbers? No. Black paper. 
paper because that makes it easier to see what you're doing. And you can also make a deeper line with a piece of paper under. I'm putting the wax paper. Are you watching, guys? You can play with that in a minute. I'm putting the wax paper down so that the curvy part goes down. And that will help it lie flatter on top. And then I'm going to take a pointy stick from here. And again, I want you to be real careful with pointy sticks. And I'm going to start. You could do this in circles if you find that easier. But I'm going to start and make a line about two fingers, two of my fingers from the top. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Okay. And I'm going to go down just like I did in the first one. And over here, only this time I'm not going to go all the way near the edge. I'm going to start going up before I get over too far towards the edge. And I'll go right up and I'll stop when I get about two fingers away from that other line. And then I'll keep doing that. I'll keep going until I'm about two fingers away from the next line. And then I'll get what looks kind of like, what would you call this? Does this remind you? A maze. It looks like a maze, doesn't it? And um, I, I think it works best. Let me try an eyedropper here for a minute. If you just put, in fact, I'm just going to take a teeny little bit of water here because the smaller, the smaller the drop, uh, um, easier it'll be to get it going around. And I'll put it, I'll start it right down here. Oh, that's a good one. And then, just like those toys that you've probably seen that have a little metal ball that you have to roll along the path, see if you can get the drop started along the path that you made for it. And see if you can get it to go all the way to the middle. Whoops, mine got hung up on a little scratch there. Okay. okay, well, I'll tell you, it's harder, the smaller the dot you have, the harder it, or the slower it moves, okay? If it moves too slow, then it's hard to get it to go all the way around. If it moves too fast, then it's going to fall off the track. So you want a dot of water that's just the right size. So you can experiment with that. And that's a toy you can take home when you're done and play with it again at home, too. Okay, one, two, we'll move on to the third thing. And the third thing over here is a relay race. And here, two teams are going to go to the relay race. And one will be at this table, and one will be at this table. So you might as well spread out now. There'll be, um, let's see, what, there'll be four, te te four people on each team, OK? And the teams will line up in front of each table. So why don't you line up now while I show you how it works. Um, some of you line up at the end of this table, some of you line up at the end of that table. And the first person in the line will come, Dina, why don't you line up and back over there, just to see how this is going to work so you'll know. Um, and you want to line up and back over there. And the first person in the line, come down here. Okay? Now, remember, you'll be with your teams. Now, you go to that table, Alexis, and you go to this table. And what you're racing to do is to get all the water from this glass into that glass. Okay. And how do you suppose you're going to do that? With the straw. Right. You want to pick up some water with the straw. Now, you want to pick up as much as you can, and that's not very much. Now, do not suck it because I think this is soapy water. And you don't want to drink soapy water. Oh, I got some. You got a little bit, but you want me to show you how to get more? Does anybody know? Yeah. Yes. Look at Alexis. Look at what Alexis is doing. See? She sticks her straw all the way down, then puts her finger in it, and that holds the water in the straw until she's got it over oh, look in front of the other glass and lets it go. Okay? Each person will come from the front of the line around here, take a straw full of water from one cup to the other cup, and then go to the back of the line. You understand how that works? And then the next person in the front of the line will race down here and do the same thing. Okay? So you can't come away from the front of the table until the person before you is in back of the line. And then we'll see how um, fast you can get the water from one glass to another. Let's get all that water back in that glass. And then they should be just about even. If we have a tie, we'll measure how full the glass is, because some of you may lose some water on the way. So if there's a tie, whoever gets most of the water in the other glass will be the winner. Okay, we're going to divide into teams now, and I want 
to start out with the red team over at the collage table, I'm the cool the art, the red team, I'm the blue team, um, well, if you can find somebody to switch, a red or a yellow to switch with you. Excuse me. Does a red or a yellow want to switch? Okay. Why don't you switch with the, the red person and then you can get the red team. Okay, what did I say? Red's over there with the blue art, the cool art. Blue's over here with the, um, the water maze. And green's here and yellow's here. Okay, now, yellow's over here, green's over here. And I will start. Anybody over there need help to get started? Okay, then I will get you started in the game. Are the teams ready for the relay? I'm going to say, on your mark, get set, go. Where's your other team member? Is that Jesse? I mean, Gerard? Where'd he go? Oh, okay. Well, you can, um, we could do it with three other teams. That'll work. Um, okay, but the first person comes down here. So why don't you have the first person come down and get ready to go. And when I say go, you may start. And as soon as you're done, you race to the back and the next person comes. Okay, we'll see how long it takes. On your mark, get set, go. Just once. Just once, Stephanie. Just once. Just once. Just once and then race down to the other end. Oh. Okay, just do it once and race down to the other end. And then you got to get going. Because this might not be the best way to keep cool. Running from one end of the table to the other. Maybe you could try getting it past the line. Try to get as much water as you can in that straw before you pass it over.
know, put it by the trap in the trap. I will, I will. Thank you. Okay, now wait till I say go. Okay. No, two. Two. Go. Sorry. Be sure it's flat. You sure it's flat on the um. You made shape, but look. 